In this video, we'll demonstrate how to set up an email drip campaign. The drip campaigns are configured inside the marketing tab, so you need to have the business edition. Make sure and click on the marketing tab, and you'll see down here the guided flow multiple email drip. So we'll click on that. We can name it. We can either create a new email or we can select from existing emails that we've already created. So in this case, we're going to go on the assumption that we've already uploaded four emails that we want to use in this campaign. So I collect the, the box four times. So this isn't just the first box. This is all four emails that we want to use in this campaign. Check the box indicating that you've completed the step. Now with drip campaigns, you don't have to select the audience at the time of the campaign. So you'll simply go to schedule the email dates and this will allow you to set up your schedule. So on day one, if you want to send this new sample, on day five, you want to send the home buyer tax credit, on day 14, you want to send another email, and on day 80, you want to send another one. This is the schedule that you're defining for each of those campaigns. So these would be the four emails, and this is the schedule. So anybody that you associate with this drip campaign is going to receive these four emails in this sequence. Now once you've completed that, you'll see that your email is down in Drip Campaigns. You can open that up. We publish the email campaign by default so that it can be used with background workflow jobs. So there's a video on how to associate your Drip Campaigns uh, against a saved search so that it runs every single day. You can also create a saved search that would eliminate certain records so that they don't get attached from the record. So, Let's say you wanted to remove somebody from the campaign if they became a customer in between the third and fourth emails. You could define a safe search that would, that would be based on the value of field equals customer and it could be eliminated from that campaign. Once you've got your drip campaign built, you can simply, once you've got that drip campaign built, you can associate that drip campaign And now that record will receive those emails in that sequence. Alternatively, you can use the drip campaign with the scheduled campaigns for organization. And there's a video on how to use that. Scheduled campaigns for organizations. Basically, a quick summary is you would create a saved search, you would select your campaign, you'd give it a name, and then you this this can update fields when that campaign attaches. This is helpful to make sure that you don't attach the same campaign to the record multiple times. That's how you would use the drip campaigns.